Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. I have with me today the beautiful Carly. You've probably seen Carly in several other blogs by now, depending on which order I release them. But there's a closet full of about 20 dresses that all belong to one student here who's trying to sell them because she's had to retire from dancing. And as we were trying on dresses and whatnot, Carly said... Uh, I have a hard time because everything fits me. Yes, she, I said, this one looks really good on you, which I've said in every video. <laughs> and literally they have all fit you and all looked pretty darn good on you. So you called it a curse. It is a curse. And my first thought was, well, if everything looks good, why is it a curse? Hello, that's because it's very difficult to decide then what to buy when everything fits. So in today's blog, I'm actually going to talk about that very thing because how, how to narrow down choices. So I'm actually not really going to talk about this dress a whole lot. Let me skim through it. I don't have a clue who made it. What we do believe is that it was made for someone either taller or thinner or both because as I'm glancing at this, this dress does not have enough bagginess to actually be interesting. So if you raise your arms up, it doesn't really move a whole lot. Whereas if this were someone with a 25 inch waist, there would be a whole lot more drapiness here. So as she moved and stretched, this would really move and stretch a whole lot more. So if so, despite the fact that this actually fits her, it fits her because everything is stretchy, not so much because it's what the design was intended as or what's going to move the best on the floor. And when you have the curse like Carly has, where you're a nice average shape, not too curvy, not too straight, and everything fits good on you, how do you narrow it down to what actually looks good? We're not just talking fit because this technically fits her it just is not the best dress why does this not work on her one is just the whole volume thing that i already mentioned two because it's white and so it makes her do you usually tan for competitions i do okay so once she's tanned the white wouldn't be such a big yes. issue except that white will always make you look larger no matter how tiny you are. So if you are teeny tiny and you want to have a larger frame and a larger presence on the floor, by all means wear white or, or in the rink for that matter. I'm not a personal fan of white in an ice rink because I think it gets lost. This one is also a creamy white and creamy white is not a good color on you. You would be better in a pure stark white or a dead white. So there are several things to roll out here. The gathers across the hips, once again, is great for somebody with tiny hips who wants to add a little volume to the hips to make their hips look larger so their waist looks smaller. You actually do not need the extra gathers here. They're not good on you. So this little cluster off to the side is really pretty nice. Um, this little, once again, imitation beaded fringe is fun. It's um, lycra, or it's the same fabric as this, with rhinestones on either side and a, two jewels at the end. This is a pretty nice effect. Not practical for high-speed dancers or even for skaters, because these things would eventually just snap right off. Um, I don't understand if this was a choice to have two different tones of off-white here, or if the beiginess of this satin charmeuse was to pull out the beiginess of the flesh-colored lycra here. It could be either way. It could be that was the best skirt fabric they could find, or it could be intentional color. Go ahead and let's show the back, please, ma'am. The back, I don't understand why the back is symmetrical when the front is so asymmetrical. So for my tastes, I would like if the back was asymmetrical so that it was more cohesive with the front part of the design. Once again, this, the ruching here really is lovely, just not on Carly's body. So the sleeves are, I like the sleeves. I like the fact that all of this is loose in here, but if she were tinier, this would be more loose and therefore more effective. Um, the sleeves fit well. I don't mind this little bell sleeve here, 
The problem with this stretch mesh is that it is going to be so easy to rip it, to get a finger caught in it, and it, it's stretchy, so it may just keep going with you, and it may be more durable than what I think it is. My gut reaction is it's probably a little bit fragile. So, would I recommend, if Carly were going to buy this dress, would I recommend it? I would say no, because based on everything else we've seen on you, you know, this is, this is a no. So if you are in the situation like she is, where so many things look good on you, first of all, rule out color. And I have another blog that talks about how to choose your best colors. Always choose a color that looks good on you because you will look youthful, vibrant, more approachable. You will show up better on the floor or the rink. Always wear colors that look good on you, even no matter how much fake tan and fake makeup and everything else you have on in the ballroom world. Wear your real colors, please. The other thing is, does, does the design of the dress hold up in your body? So in this sense, because this isn't quite baggy enough to be effective, the um, integrity of the design or the intent of the design does not necessarily come across on Carly's body because she's bustier and curvier than what this was probably made for. And the other thing is fit. <laughs> If it doesn't fit, if it doesn't feel comfortable, if you feel like you're smushed, if, you know, if your breasts are low in it, if it's too tight, if you can't breathe, anything like that, just rule it out. And so do you have to then try on a bunch of dresses to choose what you want? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> if you really do have to try on a bunch of dresses, make sure you are well hydrated. Bunch of water and have a, a good low glycemic snack with you. Because anytime you have to do a lot of shopping and you're going to be spending a significant amount of money like on these dresses, it helps to be clear headed. And so hydration and blo level blood sugar levels will help that. All right, well, this was a rather atypical blog, but I think it's, it's a good one to address because we put so much time and energy into shopping that into trying to find our street clothes and our dens and skate dresses that it's easy to get overwhelmed and to not be able to rule out items. So I'll ask you one question here. Do you, um, as you're shopping and trying on things, do you have any tricks that you use to help rule out dresses? Well, since I do have a large chest, I kind of always go with dresses that I know for sure will fit that. So that's, that's pretty easy with ballroom dresses because a lot of the ballroom dresses are made for people who don't have large chests. Yes. So anything to do with like a uh, super deep V or very, very small areas here, I can rule out instantly. Um, but other than that, I kind of just, I look for color, like you said. Yeah. Color is probably the biggest one. Like I would not go with white because I have such blonde hair. Mm -hmm. So that just helps. Right. Good. Well, it sounds like you have the basics down pat, which is yes. good. <laughs> and, if, and if you don't, it really does make your decision so much more complicated. Oh, I do have another blog on how not to get overwhelmed. And I address a lot of these issues kind of in more detail there. But yeah, that is it. We're going to try to put Carly in another dress. <laughs> So if you have found value in today's video, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure you get my newsletter as well as notification of when the Sew Like and Pro enrollment happens. Leave me a comment. What's your favorite part of this dress? What's your least favorite part of this dress? And what do you do to avoid getting overwhelmed when you are choosing a new costume? And lastly, thanks so much to Amy for letting us film here in this gorgeous Overland Park Ballroom in Kansas. So the link is below for the studio. Check it out in case you're in, the, in town, want lessons, or you need it for a wedding venue, or any, the space is just spectacular. Even the bathroom and the dressing room is gorgeous. Okay, all right, that's it for me. I will talk to you again another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>